My rain barrel just arrived. I'm so excited. I can't wait to open it up and see how it looks and set it up outside. And it's a perfectly rainy day out today too. It's gonna rain a lot this next month since it's April. So yay, let's open it up and see how it looks. the right one. Can you order something online and then I'm so excited to get it? It's the wrong thing. It looks so big. Oh my gosh, it looks huge. It looks huge. I ordered the small one. Is this the small Is this the small one? Oh yeah. Saving this box for Sienna because she wants to make a police car with it. <laughs> Here it is! Let's take it outside and install it. I don't even think there's anything to do. Like, I just have to connect it to the downspout. Let's take it outside. Okay, actually, I found the parts. I had to remove this great that's on the top and the spigot and the other parts to connect we're just in the sack so I'm just going to turn this back on and then we'll bring it out and I guess in this is just to um, prevent leaves and other debris from getting inside the strainer it attaches to the top, and then here's the brass spigot here. Also attach. Let's get this stuff all attached, and then we'll bring it out. Okay, so we got some of this thread seal tape here that I will wrap around here to prevent leaking. And this screws in. Oops, you can see. Okay, then we're gonna screw this guy into here. Let's try just getting up one more little turn. Oh my gosh, no! I can't leave it like this. That looks so good. Okay, got it. And then this bottom piece here is for the shutoff valve. And this is where I would attach my hose on this bottom one. And this is just if I want to like turn it on and get some water. I don't have good grip strength. This is probably not as hard as I'm making it look. Rubber glove helps. If you're not good at, if you don't have good grip strength, this makes it like a million times easier. Okay, let's leave it there and see if that works. Let's bring this outside.
Okay, it's kind of set up. I cut this piece off, but I think I want to get a piece that will twist more this way because how it's set up is it's turned, I have the spout turned too much that way. I want it to think face this way. The downspout is coming down at the wrong angle to do that, so this is how I have it for now. Just walk around the side. And it has a little planter feature here. And the water will come down here and drain into the rain barrel. So that's how I want it to face. But then this is not quite coming down at the wrong, right angle. So I want to get a new piece like this that's more um, foldable. And then that way this can still face straight. So now that this is here, I don't have to have the long downspout that ran this way. So that's a plus. And I'm also going to move this concrete block now in that way. That was just there to catch the rainwater runoff from the spout. So I won't need that there either. So I'm going to get that out of the way now. Okay, so I was able to make it work. What I did was I just um, leveled up the ground here by putting some old bricks I had in the garage. I just moved them there to make it level with the patio. So, because it's very important that it's level because when it fills with water, it's going to be super heavy. And if it's not level, it will tip over. So that's level and the current spout will work here. And that's it. It's all set up. So here's how it looks as you come in. Super cute. Okay. There's Ocean. Come on, buddy. What are you doing in there? <laughs> All right. I'm going to go make dinner. Glad that is set up. Looks good. Sienna's inside making a fort. I'm going to make dinner and then. Yeah, call it a day.